Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Greg here at the Caddis Fly Shop. Today we're going to be tying a couple effective wire nymphs. We'll start off today uh, with kind of a variation of the top secret midge. We're just going to do a variation of it. Um, and then we're also going to be tying a Copper John uh, Euro nymph style. Join me today. All right, today we're tying a Copper John on a jig hook. This is a Gamagatsu J20. I'm using a tungsten slotted bead. I'm undersizing it just a little bit. You could put wire on here if you want to, um, if you really want it heavy. But using that tungsten is key for this jig hook if you're Euro nymphing. All right, we're gonna be tying this in colors today of blue and silver, but you could tie it in red and black and brown and silver and olive and silver, you name it. I'm gonna take my thread and I'm just using a good old six aught uh, right back to the barb and I'm gonna be using some uh, tan colored biots today. You just want to pinch these on, do a very loose wrap to get them on there, boom, or two, and use your fingers to manipulate them until you get them locked in. Just like so. And then I do the one closest to me. And you want these flaring out. Nice little flare tail. Put it in loose. Right in. And I go ahead and turn those just to here. Like so. The whole time you're building a taper. What I'm going to be using today is two strands of blue and size brassy and one strand of silver. Give yourself space to work with. Don't skip on this stuff. Let's say about three to four inches should be fine. This particular fly is going to be riding upside down, so I'm not too worried about my biots yet being perfect. But when you're wrapping three things of wire, just try to get it up so it's all organized and not too twisted or braided. You can just lift them straight up and get them somewhat in a position you like. That looks good to me. In this particular vise, I don't have a cradle for my bobbin, so I'm just going to do this by hand. Get that first wrap nice and tight, pull up and back at the same time. You can see that nice segment and look at that one silver wire gives to it. We'll lock those off. Three turns. Cut those off. Some more scissors. Really snatch that down. I want to leave plenty of space here on the front, and since this is a jig hook. It's going to be riding upside down like this. So I'm actually going to reposition my hook so I can actually have a little bit of space to work with. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to be adding in right now is I'm going to find a little piece of thin skin. I like to go a little wider, but a little piece of thin skin, which eventually is going to, excuse me, before the thin skin, we're going to add some tinsel here up to the top. I'm going to actually pull that through to get two pieces. Double it up is all I'm doing. I'm going to lock that in. Come back to about there. Come back up. I'm going to add some thin skin in over here. 
However, you can get it on there. Do that. Yeah, close that. Tie that off nice and tight. So I have that in. I'm gonna lock that off. Like so. The next thing I'm gonna grab is a peacock curl. wraps there. Next one I'm going to get is I like to use brown. This is just a little hen hackle feather. I'm going to tie this on very loosely to start with. And I'm going to pull it through. So a couple loose wraps, not too tight. And my peacock is going to, not my peacock, but my Thin skin is going to come up and still a couple loose, very loose turns. And then my wings are a little long. I want my wings to come to about the hook point. So with those loose wraps, I'm just going to kind of, kind of pull that out. About there. That looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lift and cut. Trim off any of that extra stuff that you kind of get to. We're gonna be creating a collar anyway, so it's not too bad. And then I'm gonna bring over my beaver's tinsel. Wraps. That's just the going. <clears throat> that's just going to give it a little sparkle underneath the glue. Right now, before you glue anything, make adjustments as needed. And now, I'm going to be using a UV glue. You want this to be a little thicker, so you can build a nice little head or little air bubble. I bring it all back to the wraps, kind of secured in, and I'll shoot it with my torch. You'll notice that I